today, folks, we are just sharing this short video, 15 minutes about how Nina and I care for ourselves uh, as we're doing this really important work. So we hope you enjoy it. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are here to just share some tips from the field as practitioners that do DEI work. You know, we're experiencing a lot of pushback right now. So we wanted to share our tips and tricks for how to resource yourself during this time. But first, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Nina Norell, you, she, her pronouns. I'm one of the founding partners here at Future Work Design. I help co-lead our equity, diversity, and inclusion practice at Future Work Design with Katie. Um, my background is in organizational development and design, and I've been doing equity and inclusion work for over 20 years. And I am Katie Oxford, also one of the founding partners of Future Work. My particular background is in human resources, and so I often help our clients trying to identify ways in which their policies and practices can better serve those who are most marginalized. And a little bit about future work design. Um, some people may know us from just one of the things that we do. We actually do a lot of different stuff. Um, we're a small firm based out of Portland, Oregon. Um, we do strategic planning, um, employee experience work, uh, coaching, we work with executive teams, we do organizational design work, um, and we do all of that work through the lens of equity, diversity, and inclusion. Um, and we also work with clients uh, specifically on strategies um, around equity and inclusion. So while this work can be deeply fulfilling, um, we, get to, we get to move exciting things. We're also in this real moment of pushback. And just truthfully, sometimes you're just in a restaurant saying it's fine, but it's clearly not fine. Where things feel precarious things feel like they're just so messy and you feel so <laughs> messy <laughs> that is often how we feel on the inside when we are trying to look super profesh on the outside and so we just want to give you some tips about like how to show up well how to show up well for each other um how to take care of yourself in really uncertain times we recognize also that like some of the tips and tricks that are out there for practitioners can be a little heady. It's like meditate, you know, and uh, center yourself. And all of those things are important. We don't want to dismiss those. But we also want to be really honest about what this looks like for us and how we resource ourselves. So you're going to hear us in our own words talk about what we do. The very first thing is we have a method called garbage talk. It is really important to have someone that you trust, that you can vent the hard things to. So for me and Nina, this looks like each other um, in this work. So if I call up Nina and say, hey, I have to garbage talk, or I text and say, hey, do you have time to garbage talk? What this signals is like, I am dealing with something hard. I need some support. Maybe I don't need advice. I just need an ear. Um, this isn't gossip. This isn't talking a bunch of mess about individuals. This is my moment to like reflect uh, what's happening to me, to release it. And it's really important that I get consent from my partner to be like, can you hold this? Can you hold this with me? Um, so that is one of the first things we do is kind of garbage talk. It is a really important practice that we have on our team that whenever something happens that kind of feels like a rub where there's like just kind of some discomfort or um or a small conflict that we talk about it and we use this language as a way to signal hey i'm feeling some discomfort with something this isn't a huge deal but i do want to work it out with you and i want to talk it through with you um because we know that when we work the pinches or the small conflicts with each other, in the long run, it actually deepens our trust with each other. Um, it, it ensures that we're learning about each other and kind of negotiating explicitly, like what our norms are going to be, how we're going to work together so that we're creating norms together that really work for both of us. Um, and I think this is especially important when you are in a time that is stressful. Because if you are having a lot of stress um, in your environment or the work that you're doing is particularly difficult, 
it is more likely that you are going to have these moments of tension because we're all maybe showing up a little messy at times, right? Um, or our, our kind of tolerance for discomfort is lower. So um, having a norm and an agreement about um, really just talking about this stuff as it comes up is, is super important. The other thing we really try to do as individuals is focus on filling our cup. And this looks like different things to each of us. So there's a lot of joy to be had in this work. There's a lot of um, excitement and fun that we have in this work, but we also have to be outside of work. We can't just be in the work all the time. For Nina, that looks like being out in nature, being on the beach, being um, in space where she can connect with something larger, surfing, all of that stuff. For me, it is like decorating. It is getting, curating my cute stuff. It is putting on my favorite uh, Spotify playlist and fussing with my organization and making sure everything looks cute. We each have something that really fills our cup and makes us feel uh, connected to something outside of just the work that we do. And so it's really important to not lose sight of that and make time for that. So that might mean we flex our schedules a bit so that folks are, each of us are getting that space to focus on what we need. Um, and sometimes that means we may have to shift our work schedule so that we get that time. What we're talking about here is struggle and joy. Are you really going to hit 50-50? I mean, I hope so, right? But also I want to acknowledge maybe it's not going to be 50-50, right? But I think the thing we're trying to emphasize here is like how important it is to strive to balance some of the, the things in this work that are really difficult and sometimes really painful with a sense of play, humor, and joy so that the more experiences or time that you're having that are difficult and challenging the more time you need to invest in building relationships with each other, sharing meals, doing things that are fun, buying each other hot dog costumes for the birthday party. But we recognize that it's actually really important to make time for that stuff. That is a part of the work that sustains us. Yeah. And that happens even with our clients and the people that are participating in our work. We might not show up always. <laughs> in hot dog costumes or very rarely but we do seek to find joy with the people that we're working with so in our client interactions in um trainings or in that project work trying to find those moments of joy is so important sometimes we need to tap out sometimes we need to just like i based on what just happened in the room based on what's happening in this project I need to take uh, a pause and I need you to come in and take over. So a lot of times for us, this looks like identity-based needs. So as a person of color, I may sometimes be on the receiving end of resistance in a different way than Nina might be. And there are times where I need a uh, space or a break because I feel dysregulated. And so it's important for me to be able to reach to somebody that I trust and, and signal like I need space. It's also important for Nina to recognize when I do and vice versa. So I might not be able to signal it in that moment, but our working relationship is close enough that I can see when she needs that support even before she says it and she can see when I need that support. And that, that's never seen as um, like shirking responsibilities, not doing the project, but actually seen as like, this is part of the work that we need to be there for each other. And this is part of why we work in a multiracial team so that we recognize that like, we're going to need different things at different times and somebody else needs to step in. Sometimes like, you know, I need to tap out is kind of the signal that we use each with each other when it's like, I personally need to take a break because I feel unsafe or I've been harmed or I feel too dysregulated to do what needs to be done in this situation. And then there's moments where um, we actually just need to pause as a team because this isn't something that is really just impacting one person. We're all impacted by it. And 
we need to stop and pause and kind of make sense of what's happening. So this happened for us several times over the last four years where either something that was happening um, in the world, on the news, um, within our, um, you know, experiences that we were uh, sharing in more kind of intimate circles where we're like, well, we really need to pause, even if that means canceling all the meetings we have that day and rescheduling them. Um, because we recognize that in the long run, it's not sustainable for us to just push through and that we've really cultivated like a sense of like, whoa, we actually need to stop and really take a beat at this and just how important it is to to let yourself do that and to know that in the long run, that's what's going to help us all kind of stay in this work. We recognize that these are things that Katie and I have developed together after years of working with each other. There are things that have just kind of naturally evolved as we really put a lot of attention into like, how do we care for ourselves and how do we care for each other and how do we make this work sustainable and joyful for us? Um, and we recognize that what you personally need or the people that you're working with need to do may be different than what we do. What works for Nina and I is probably not going to work well for you. It's going to be unique to you, your practice, and your relationships. But we're hoping that these six buckets can serve as an aid to figure out, like, well, what is missing from my toolkit? So we're going to start with the very first one, which is garbage talk. Again, you're probably not going to use that term, but you do likely need some time to vent, some time to process. Who is your possum in that garbage can that you can reach out to and get support? And how do you signal consent? Regardless if you are a practitioner on your own or you support DEI efforts internally with an organization, it is really important to find joy in this work and find humor. So look for opportunities to really lean into the value of relaxation, fun, and joy, especially when things get difficult. Not only is conflict not avoidable, it's also extremely healthy. So how do you handle conflict on your team? How can you engage in it in ways that actually build relationship and keep you connected? Having some um, clarity around how you're going to work and deal with conflict before conflict happens is really important. Based on your identity, based on your circumstances, based on what's happening for you personally, you may need time to tap out and say, I can't actually be part of this meeting, part of this conversation, part of this project. That needs to be okay. And that's truly what we're trying to seek with equity work, is the opportunity to voice what you need. Sometimes when things are really hard, it's very tough to remember to find your own personal joy outside of the work. So while we encourage you to find fun and relaxation in the work, you also really need space and time to find the things that bring you joy that has nothing at all to do with the work. So if you haven't in your tool bucket figured out what is the thing that fills your cup, we really encourage you to do so. As individual practitioners and consultants, we have the privilege of being able to say, we are going to close up shop for the day because something big is happening in the world. That might not always be possible for you, but maybe it is possible to extend a walking lunch break, to um, cancel certain meetings, to really center the team's health, your health and well-being, especially when things get rough. So we invite you also to share with us what are the things that are working for your team? What would be helpful? Um, let us let us know so that we might be able to invite that yeah. into our practice as well. Yeah. So anything Thanks else? Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, y'all. We Thanks, uh, y'all. keep in touch. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Bye, y'all. Bye. How do I press stop recording? It's your first day using.